What's the issue with powerlifting? What is the issue with powerlifting? What are the issues of powerlifting? Let me first off and just say, I never got into powerlifting, squat, bench, deadlift uh, to compete in the sport or because I was a fan of the sport of powerlifting. I mentioned this multiple times, but I enjoy training. Um, my first passion was basketball. I played basketball and figured out that I loved the games a lot more than I liked practice. In basketball, practice is 50% of the season. Powerlifting, training can easily be 80 to 100% of the season of your life. I love training. So that's how I got into powerlifting. Let me next say that I don't really have a lot of opinions on it. I'm very neutral in terms of powerlifting arguments that happen all the time. There are some issues with it. I'm also friends with all time world record holders, such as Jeremy Hamilton, Stan Efferding. They compete in, in federations like maybe the USPA. The SPF, the IPA, or otherwise. Let me also say, I have a lot of friends in the IPF, the USAPL. World record holders in those federations, Lane Norton, Bryce Lewis, my boy Brett Gibbs. Now, I get a lot of questions of what's a world record and what's an all-time world record and can you wear wraps in this federation and I didn't know you could wear wraps because wraps aren't raw. I mean, that's the issue with powerlifting. No one can agree upon anything because no one can give it up and show respect or admiration for others that succeed in maybe a slightly different way than you. Powerlifting by federation has a lot of different factors involved and they can't agree upon what is powerlifting. The sport is so simple, squat, bench, deadlift. But then the variables come about, such as drugs. Steroids play a factor. They're a big role. They're a big role in all of fitness, uh, but in our sport, uh, they're either tested or non-tested. Other sports, bodybuilding and so forth, uh, may have different rules, but in our sport, there's basically one federation that is considered drug tested. Um, none of them, I don't believe personally or by many, are drug free. So drug tested uh, is the USAPL and the IPF. The USAPL is a branch. It's the American branch, the USA branch of the IPF. You must win and succeed and do well in the USAPL to go on to the IPF. In this federation, you use the same bar for the squat, bench, and deadlift. Uh, many say, but it's not a fact, many say that the rules and the judging are a little bit more strict in this federation. Uh, that they make you squat to, to a deeper depth than other federations. Uh, they make you hold the pause a little bit longer. They have a start command in the bench, head must be down on the bench, feet must be flat on the bench. Other federations, majority of them, you can lift your head and you can be on your toes on the bench. Some federations, there's no start command in the bench. Some federations, there's no start command in the squat. In the USAPL, USPA, and others, there are. Some federations, you have a specialty bar to squat with. It's a little bit thicker. There's more knurling in the middle. It can handle more weight. The sleeves are longer, so it can handle more weight. And there's a little bit less whip to it. These are all personal preferences. I don't know if LeBron James gets a personal preference, but he doesn't get to choose the size of basketball or the company of basketball they use. It's the NBA official. There's one rule. Everyone still agrees it's basketball. The deadlift bar is another one. Deadlift bar compared to a stiff bar. In the US APL and the IPF, they use the same bar for squat bench dead. Pretty standard, standard bar. In most other powerlifting federations, uh, you can say the sport has evolved or the sport has changed where they have a specialty bar for the deadlift. It's a little bit thinner. Arguably, the knurling can be a little bit rougher. And the bar whips. It gives you maybe a smoother pull. Some say it's easier. Some say it's not easier. Most agree it's uh, probably more fun and, and feels a little bit better. Feels a little bit better on your bones sometimes. Again, that's my opinion. Now, will we ever get these people to agree? Probably not. If someone hits a really big squat, people are talking shit. Oh, the last factor is a monolift. Another similar to the deadlift, where the deadlift bar, where some people say uh, maybe it's an evolution of the sport. 
Maybe it can help spotters, loaders, lifters stay safe. You don't have to walk out the bar, the mono lift, the rack moves. Others say it's a wimp way. It's an easy way. It's an easy way out. It assists you too much. It's only a real squat if you walk it out. It's only a real squat if it's in sleeves. Wraps don't count. Guys in wraps say sleeves, who cares? I want to lift the most amount of weight. Similar to the deadlift bar versus stip bar argument. What's right, what's wrong, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's up to you. But what I hope we can do is, you know, have the confidence in ourselves and what we prefer to do. I prefer not to compete. I prefer to often lift with the deadlift bar. It's more fun for me. I got in this for fun. I got in this because I enjoy it. I enjoy progress. I enjoy pushing myself. I enjoy training. I enjoy friends. I enjoy seeing big lifts done. I don't care what weight class they were in. I don't care what bar they used, what federation, what equipment they used, wraps or sleeves, deadlift bar or stiff bar. I love to see Brett Gibbs crush a 700 pound deadlift just as much as I like to see my boy Steve Gentili last night crush an 815 pound deadlift with the deadlift bar. Different standards, different variations, same sport, I guess. It's kind of up to you, but what I hope we can agree upon is to, to lift each other up. Rising tides raise all ships. As the sport grows, it seems that we get more disconnected, even though those that have been in the sport longer should get more connected. That's what we're trying to do here at Super Training, trying to connect those that enjoy strength, that enjoy lifting weights, that enjoy training, that enjoy studying it, that enjoy being a master of their craft, not that enjoy the internet hate, not that enjoy the, the back talk about if that lift was legitimate, Every squat that's been put on the internet, someone has said that wasn't to depth. Squat deeper, that's no good, red lights. But who cares? Does his accomplishments, her accomplishments, their accomplishments ever take away from the hard work that you've done or what you have accomplished? In my opinion, no. If you know deep down that you have done things the right way, you've trained the right way, you have earned your white lights, you have squat to depth, you have pulled the way you like to pull, bench the way you like to bench, then who's to say otherwise? What are the issues with powerlifting? There's many. When you dig to the roots of it, it's all the same. You're lifting a barbell. You're lifting a weight that not many can comprehend outside of the sport. And even within the sport, we can't comprehend. I cannot comprehend a thousand pound squat, whether it's in a mono lift, whether it's in wraps, whether it's in sleeves, whether it's drug tested on a stiff bar or on a squat bar, I can't comprehend it either way, so it doesn't really matter, I'm impressed either way. Leave your comments below, let me know what you guys think. Let's keep it positive in the comments below. Maybe things we can do to fix this to lift each other up rather than put each other down or make us more disconnected than we already are. Let's start building up the sport, let's start building up each other more importantly. I think a lot of people do a really good job of building up the sport, but we do a very poor job of lifting up each other. Eyes up, rise up. My man D. Jack says, shout out to David Jack, one of the most positive characters in the fitness industry, one of the most least known, but most valuable people in the fitness industry. Lift each other up, lift the sport up, send some positivity. Doesn't take away from your accomplishments or hurt you to say, good lift, man, that's hard work, great job. Whether you agree with their federation, their style of lifting or not. Salam I'm out of here, guys.